Hello and welcome back. In the previous videos, we learned about uh, horizontal analysis, vertical analysis, how we are going to analyze the revenue in, to get the insights of what is happening in the hotel. So in this video, we're going to look at a practical example of uh, one of the hotels. Uh, this data is uh, pretty old, uh, it's about two years old data. However, we can use this as a sample to analyze further uh, into uh, to understand the segmentation. So as you can see, the report is, this is a market segmentation report, it's a revenue report. Uh, in the PNL, as we discussed that we show only the total line, okay, the total, uh, total transient revenue, then permanent revenue and the total other revenues. But we add the details of by segment as prescribed by usually in another annexure, which is more normally helpful to understand the revenue revenue performance in more details so in this section we have a retail uh, we have total individual segments which is called FITs uh, these are also divided into retail segments where the person is coming uh, at the retail rates at the rack rates at the displayed rates into the hotel then there are discounted uh, segments where you are selling at packages you are selling at discounted rates you are selling advanced purchase rates you are selling discounts based on your uh, other promotions like local resident promotion or foreign promotion or certain other promotions. Negotiated is the corporate business which is coming into the hotel based on the negotiated rates uh, from the corporates. Qualified means anything which is like government, military, their, their individual staff where the person has to satisfy certain conditions to be eligible to those rates those rates are also public however you need to uh, fulfill certain criteria to be eligible wholesale is the wholesale can be online offline but they are they are through the they are they are the business which is sold through a travel agent uh, long stay means the person who is staying here for more than certain uh, criteria room nights let's say 10 room nights or 14 room nights usually 14 room nights is considered as a long stay but less than 30 because if less if more than 30 by a contract it comes as a uh, permanent business and then you have others uh, other miscellaneous source of businesses uh, which is not covered in other uh, above segments then you have group segment which is more than 10 room nights in a in a one booking uh, it can come from corporate it can come from associations uh, from uh, other uh, embassies or from sorry not from embassy but from other associations like chamber of commerce then you have travel agents uh, if they are sending a series or they are sending uh, guests in a bulk of like 10 rooms per, per per group then there are other social military educational religion or fraternity groups these we have discussed in the earlier videos as well so you can refer there uh, now the this segment this report is divided into three segments here this is this year revenue revenue uh, room nights rn means room nights average rate how much was, uh, was the rate achieved and then the revenue in dollars then you have a budget uh, segment, same room night, ADR and budget. And then you have last year revenue, same room night, ADR and last year. Now the horizontal analysis, as you know, is compare one period with another period. So first thing we have to do is uh, we have to analyze under, we have to calculate the variance. So I have pre do it. Uh, you can do it in the uh, separately. I can uh, give you the raw file as a resources so you can uh, you can download it and then you can do it by yourself so the the way to do revenue analysis is to calculate the absolute variance first so the absolute variance versus room night so example here we are uh, deducting room night uh, this year room nights from the room nights so the way to calculate is this year minus budget this year minus last year so since la budget was more and actual is less so it comes as a minus variance which is a negative variance which is like which is unfavorable also called unfavorable variance so this is how we look at it so re in revenue we always uh, the formula to deduct calculate the variance is always this year minus budget or minus last year while for expenses we do the reverse we deduct budget minus the actual or this year last year minus the actual so that we know what is favorable variance and what is not favorable variance. So here in this case, you know, for each segment, we have an unfavorable variance because most of the business is down except a few segments. So the, the situation is quite bad. The total revenue, which is down is $2.2 million compared to the budget and $1.6 million compared to the 
last year. Now we want to know the percentage, right? We want to know. So we calculate the percentage based on budget by dividing variance from the budget, total budget. So we got 26%. So on an average, in overall, we have 31%, uh, 24% compared to last year. Now what the, what this reports tell us? This, this analysis tells us that uh, total uh, where if we are segmenting, if we are losing 1.6 million, so where is the business that we are losing from? So let's say we are losing, in total groups, we are losing around $653,000. And in individual segments, we are losing $956,000. So the major loss is coming from both the segments. But in terms of percentage, the loss is 18% uh, in revenue segment, in the individual segment here. And in group is about 51%. So 51% of the last year business has lost. While groups, individuals is lost about 18%. In Even though in terms of value, it is quite high and this is lower however in terms of relative business percentage relative segmentation the groups are hitting a lot maximum is hit by the groups so here is something which tell us where to focus on as we discussed earlier the this kind of analysis does not give us any solid results it just gives us an indication of where to look at and how to look at it now the in the next video we will be looking at the vertical analysis stay tuned